haven't done like, drinks in a long time. I, I feel like I'm very white and you're very dark, so I blend into the yes. table and you blend into the yarn. <laughs> Okay. We're camouflaging today. Yeah. I feel like we're so far away and it's not it's not that far away, but it does look like it. Good morning everyone. Good morning everyone. Welcome to another episode of Legacy Nets Podcast. My name is Chelsea. My name is Sue. I am the daughter mother, mother grandmother. And we are both coming to you from Connecticut because we are home celebrating the Easter holiday. We decided to take a couple extra days off. Well, Justin did. Um, you did too. I did too. That's you true. work. We That's have true. to remember you work. It's true. I know. I, I've, I've been saying that to myself my whole life. You mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. You just don't leave your home to work. Mm -hmm. We probably Which work is so much harder than <laughs> most people that leave their home to work. Be honest about it because yes. we work all the time. Do you want to know who just posted something about that? Actually, I just saw it. Stacy. Yes. Yep. I saw it too, and it's so true, and mm -hmm. it's so hard to do. And I've been doing it since you guys were babies. Babies. So even before then. Just as like a like a Extra, artist that works yeah. for herself. Yeah, I was yeah. a freelance illustrator, plus worked in the food industry. Mm -hmm. Not waitressing actually. Whenever you say that, catering, you think catering, yeah. and cooking. Mm -hmm. I was I was the cook, which again and I feel like is even harder than waitressing. <laughs> no, there are uh, food industry <laughs> that's is hard. That is true. Period. But I love the food industry, and that's what I'm, we're totally off topic already. Oh, that's, okay. that's why I think I transitioned into dyeing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so easily because it's no different the mm -hmm. kitchen organizational skills the speed the mm -hmm. the heat everything about it is mm -hmm. the same mm -hmm. you're just not producing food right. and the hardest piece about that is then you have to produce food at, at the end, end of the, of the day. day and mm -hmm. I oh that part is a little bit challenging it's very challenging I mean, you know I can't speak from experience but I know. well you've died enough mm -hmm. and I've heard many dyers say that it's because you're literally in the kitchen all day long even mm -hmm. if you're in a studio it's a kitchen setting mm -hmm. and even um, production line everything about the food industry mm -hmm. is the same and you know how i believe everyone should work in the food industry yes. at some point in their life and i have taken on that belief mm -hmm. i miss my job in the food industry i loved waitressing mm -hmm. i loved it i did too i loved it I loved it, and I did it for a lot of years, mm -hmm. and it's a great way to make money when you need it. Mm -hmm. It's fast. It's mm -hmm. I don't even know how we went straight from where we are, Easter, to food industry. Well, you know what? Believe it or not, we are a knitting, crocheting, um, stitching. stitching. Why do I always forget that one? Because I'm the one that does it That's so much. True. That's true. Yeah. Embroidery, yarn dyeing, making podcast. Yes. Um, so for any new viewers, welcome. We hope you enjoy. Um, for any returning viewers, it's so good to see you it's again. So, good to be so back. sorry it's been so long, but we did post something about it on our Instagram. Yeah, we're still working through technical issues with our split screen recording. So, until we get those totally figured out, this is how you'll see, see us. us. Yes. And I feel like with the warmer <laughs> weather coming, um, I'll be up more. Mm -hmm. You'll be down more. Mm -hmm. It just feels like the summer our schedules are very different. Mm -hmm. Well, and there's no weather that we have to consider really. You never have to think about it. Although it, that didn't really come into play this year. No. The year before, it felt like it did. Yeah. This we, year, no. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, typically I'm coming from Vermont and mm -hmm. Mom comes from Connecticut. But this is my yarn room. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm lucky enough to have a yarn room. Mm -hmm. It's hysterical though because it has the most luxurious chairs. With so a, comfy. I call it a hassock. I know it's an ottoman, but mm -hmm. old school is hassock, and they're a creamy leather, and they are the most heavenly chairs in the whole wide world. Mm -hmm. And I never sit. And you know I, what? I think if I lived closer, we would sit in here more often. I think we would sit in here all the time, but I never sit in here, uh -huh. ever, ever. And it's such a cozy room. I walk by it a hundred times a day and think, I need to go sit in there. And look at how beautiful it is, too. Like, just the aesthetic of it is just to sit here and knit and look at you. Yeah, and this is <clears throat> kind of my personal stash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this isn't the yarn that we... I mean, there's some of it that mm -hmm. you dye, but there's a couple cubes of oh, ours. Little, little bunny fell over. Oh, look at this. I know that. Um, oh my goodness, Savvy Skeins. Oh my God, Maddie. I should know Madeline. I should know this. She sent it to me a hundred years ago, and I love it. It's so sweet, and it's so next to our needles up. Needles up frame. I said this to mom before we started recording, but I feel like we're <clears throat> like the grocery girls. Like it's kind of like their setup. You know how they have the um, the letter board yes. in between them. Yes. We're unintentionally copying oh, you, Jody and Tracy. It's because we love you. It's because we love you so much. Sorry. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, but it's funny because my stash, it, it looks like a lot here. Again, quite a few, there's a whole spinning stash over here that's fantastic. You know what I'll do after we're done recording is I'll do, do a, it. Uh, like a, yeah, a long shot of all of them. Yeah, the and then I have a lot of books down here. Mm -hmm. My art journals are down here, which I, I act like I'm an art journalist. No, oh, you definitely are. I was. You I are miss you it. Want to be. Anyways, again, well, off topic. Yeah, off topic, but that's okay. That's kind of what we are. Yeah, so, so for any new viewers, you're getting crash course in what our podcast is. Yeah. Today is Good Friday. Mm -hmm. I love Holy Week. It's my favorite week of the year. I just love it. Mm -hmm. And it's been really nice. A good friend of ours said, <laughs> Kathy, mm -hmm. said, oh my gosh, she sent me a text. Oh my God, Sue, I'm really worried about you. And Chelsea, I haven't seen you on Instagram. Are you okay? It was oh my so gosh. sweet, Kathy. I, not sure if she watches. If you do, <laughs> Kathy, you know how much we love you. Yes. Um, it was just so sweet. And it is a week where we pull back a little. It feels good. Yeah. I honestly didn't even realize until you said that. I'm thinking back. I'm like, wow, I really haven't been on Instagram no. at all. It's just one of those quiet weeks for yeah. me. I'm super busy, but quiet. Mm -hmm. And Should we talk about how I finished all the dying for Needles Up? Yes. I finished all the dying for Needles Up. Maryland. Maryland. Classified. Which is in like two weeks mm -hmm. which takes my breath away really takes but my breath done. away i'm done but you know what it is it's the last minute stuff that mm -hmm. i'm not good i'm not a um i'm not a finisher mm -hmm. i'm just not i now this will hang for two weeks but i'm hoping i'm hoping next week i really want to get some dying for our shop done because that's been kind of put on hold so i'm hoping that and then next weekend we will pack mm -hmm. And then I have the next whole week free of Maryland mm. before I even get there, which is really, really great. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that's how my brain works. Mm -hmm. Like I need that week mm -hmm. in order to kind of get my head in the game. Totally. And, um, and then it's funny, I'll want to die that whole week. Which is I'm, exciting. It's so exciting. I feel like that's a good sign that you like, for me, it's always like, okay, I know I'm supposed to be doing this because I love it so much that yes. even when I'm afforded the opportunity to not do to it, not I do want it. to do it. Yes. This week I've been forcing myself yeah. to not die because I was really, I mean, I dyed all the yarn probably in three weeks. Yeah. I would say 80% of it in three weeks, 20% of it came from the shop. Mm -hmm. And I think for anyone that's been to Needles Up, mm -hmm. I think it looks very different this time. I am obsessed. Like when, so I knew, I knew this was gonna happen. I got here yesterday and I was like, I want to go down and I want to look at the booth. And you were like, go do it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I stepped down there and I'm like, well, I want all of this yarn, <laughs> and I know I'm not allowed to take any until you not guys yet. Not get yet. first pick. <laughs> I know. So I am being tortured over here because yeah. I know there is all that goodness downstairs, and I want to cast on another soldatna, and I want to mm. cast on another t-shirt, and I want to. So. I know. If that's if anybody knows me and how much I don't really like covet yarn no. necessarily, my heart is being pulled into the <laughs> basement and I'm not allowed to go down. So you I guys know. are in for such a treat. It's and so different. It's different. Well, because you know what it is, is it's so versatile. It's, yes. It's you can pair so much. Like I will say there are fewer speckled skeins mm -hmm. and there is more like tonals and solids and things that you can really like pair together so that if you're looking to make a color work sweater oh, there's so many choices so many combinations and that's really where my heart is right mm -hmm. now I'm like I want to go down there and pick two more combinations I for know. another one of these so. and there's tons of DK <clears throat> every colorway comes in fingering of oh, fingering steel toe cozy toe and DK yep and then we have our mohair bases mm -hmm. and it, it mini think, skein bundles. Yes. Not a ton of mini skeins and I but think enough. more are going. Yeah, yeah. I think the romance collection is what's really featured and that is the most versatile collection I think we have made. I really do. I'm obsessed with it. And it's bad because I should be like knitting with the rest of our yarn, but every project that I see, I'm like, ooh, that look great in worn leather and mm. wedding cake. Ooh, or mm. ooh, that would look great with the blues or But in that wedding uh, romance collection I think there's 11 colors 10 colors it's at definitely least 10, there at least at yeah. least 10 um <laughs> and they they all play so well together I'm mm -hmm. so excited and then we have our good old standbys which I love we have Kirk mm -hmm. we have Jess I Jess. think I saw it on no 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 Jess. I don't think Jess oh maybe I was looking in the shop you're maybe probably looking Jess. in the shop yeah 
can't even remember, but our, our standby speckles that will also integrate complement Edward, those. I think, is down there. There's tons Edward, of Edward. Edward, which is my favorite. We're I'm super excited. I'm so bummed because I'm not going to actually physically be there, but we're super excited, so excited. to be presenting all and this to you guys. The, the piece that I'm going to miss the most about you not being there is like at Muscle of Yarn when people wanted combinations, mm -hmm. like to work together mm -hmm. with you and the person was so helpful because we all have a different eye. Mm -hmm. And um, so I will miss you terribly for that reason. Mm -hmm. But having said that, that is... That is why I'm there. Mm -hmm. I typically do not work the cash register, mm -hmm. basically because I don't know how to do the I don't charges. trust myself. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. So I'm hoping we'll have enough coverage <laughs> there. I may have to sneak in and do the cash. I'm, I'm capable of doing the cash. But actually counting. Yeah, yeah. I can do yeah. that, no problem. Yeah. Um, so my main goal is to be there for anyone that comes with a sweater in mind that they're dying to make, but they're not sure. Uh -huh. We have some fantastic samples. Oh my gosh, fantastic. I mean, not yeah. a million, but there's good samples. Enough to give you great ideas of like, oh, okay, like, I think fades are a big thing. Huge. Oh, um, we have so many. And with our fades, I'm so excited, and I say with ours, other people probably do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a lot of focus on um, subtle um, combinations. Mm -hmm. So it's not like a striking, like, whoa, that's a fade. Mm -hmm. It's a fade. Mm -hmm. Does that make any sense? A fade. A fade. I, think, I think, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So we're yeah. so excited. And also, so for any new viewers that are just tuning in, we have because uh, I this just hit me needles of Maryland is kind of like a boutique shopping experience that we have put together and present um, on the eve of the New York sheep and wool festival and on Maryland oh and okay. the eve of Maryland sheep and wool festival which is the one that's yeah. coming up in two weeks um, we have a lot of great vendors oh, doghouse so pottery oh who we I, love. Sh I should have brought in one of her mugs because I tried to get oh, a little of everything darn it. Well, go follow me on Instagram and then us on Instagram because I'm going to be featuring the vendors um, in different posts coming up in the next two weeks. Um, but Doghouse Pottery, we have Fiber Nymph. Fiber Nymph, which, oh my gosh, I must have a skein here. I know I do. Uh, actually, you want to know what? Do you have one? Okay. I have a I have a knit up sock with her yarn. Oh, Fiber Nymph. She does the most beautiful self-striping yarn. So this is one of her. I got this at oh, Meals Up Rhinebeck. This is her cashmere base, which I'm obsessed with. I love that. Um, tuft woolens, tuft which woolens. we are, you can't even see this. We are obsessed with these. Obsessed with tuft Their woolens. lip, her lip, lip chapstick. Chapstick, or lip balm is what she calls lip it. Lip balm, Martha. Um, my bathroom has her soap. Same. I have, do you, you need to get one of her scent rollers, because I'm obsessed. Mine's running low. It's well, like, you have to give me a list. Essential oil. Again, black oh, tea so and bergamot. Mm -hmm. oh. So she has the most beautiful, um, you know, like uh, uh, lotions. Oh, I actually have one of her lotion bars too, I think, in here. Mm. So we have Martha there. We have Amy Beth of the Fast Squirrel Speaks okay. or the Fast Squirrel Fiber. No, this isn't. I was gonna say I don't think that Turn one. Is, but this one definitely okay. is. Hold on, hold on. This one that definitely was so is. bad. Amy Beth, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have so many up there here. We go. Fast no squirrel fibers. She makes the most beautiful project bags, all different sizes. We're talking like little to probably double this size. Gigantic. Oh, hold on. Because I have so many. This one. This oh, one yeah. of my favorites. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Gorgeous. Animal. There we go. Yeah, look at how huge oh. this is. That could fit two sweaters for me. What's in here? I think it's my uh, blanket. Nope. nope. Ridiculous. Gorgeous. <gasps> You're, um, oh my gosh, I can't stay to stop soldatness in my head now. Um, Tecumseh. Tecumseh. Mm -hmm. I am going to finish this. I love it. I, I had once. put it, oh my gosh, I got to leave this. See, this is the problem. I got to leave this out. Up and <laughs> out. <laughs> so bad. So yeah, Amy Beth is, where's a giant one with our bags? Oh, uh, I think it's upstairs. Or with know. our, um, <sighs> cozy memories. Hand bomb. Oh no, our battery's flashing. After we do needles up talk, we might need to okay. recharge. Okay. And then, oh my gosh, I wanted to talk about this. Yes. Amanda of the Classy Squid. Classy Fiber Squid company. is going to have her new spindles there. Mm -hmm. I cannot even express enough my love for this spindle. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It is a 
game changer if you're learning how to spindle spin. The hardest piece is it's an investment. Mm -hmm. It's worth every dime I paid for this, and I don't remember what it was. And I mean, let's be honest, any good spindle is going to be an investment. It is going to be an investment. At least from what I've seen and heard. Absolutely, but that's what stopped me from being a spindle spinner for so long. It's like, oh, I don't want to spend the money. What if I don't like it? Mm -hmm. What if I can't do it? I, I challenge anyone to not be able to spindle spin mm -hmm. when they use this. Mm -hmm. That is my plug for Amy. Amy, Amanda. <laughs> I'm a hot man. We have so many names in our head right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. All our vendors are going to be like, they do not know how to represent us. Well, we're pulling the plug. <laughs> this is the end. Sorry, guys. We love you all so much. Thank you. So, yeah. And this is actually some of um, Amanda's Rolex, which over here, she has I have bunch. so much of her stuff. I really always want to buy spinning stuff but i've got to start spinning i know well you t i feel like you do a good mm -hmm. amount i don't my wheel is over there oh my gosh this is the time of year there's something For about spinning. spring that i want to spin i might have to pull that out too why are we podcasting today because i'm gonna oh, want it and we're not gonna be able to we're not gonna be able we got to fun stuff going we on have an weekend. easter egg hunt happening here tonight lily's first lily's first it's the first annual easter egg hunt mm -hmm. for our home mm -hmm. It's gonna happen every year. It's gonna be Friday. Sick. I'll try and get footage of that. I'm, I, um, oh, I always do this. I always overcommit to putting footage in, and then I just don't do any of it. Yes. Fingers crossed that I take all. Yes. Did um, we get all our vendors? We didn't forget anyone, did well, we? Paige. Oh, Paige. Oh, darn it. Uh huh. We do have one. Show me where. Right. Gosh, her frames. Is it not in there? In that? In, down here? Yeah. Oh, yes. It is. <gasps> oh, we have everything because we love our vendors so much. So, so Paige, Paige will be there from Frame and Fiber, which, oh my gosh, I wish that battery wasn't flashing, so I, I want to talk about the New Jersey Wool Walk. Will we, once we reach okay. I will All remind right. you, New Jersey All right. Wool Because Walk. I spent the day with Paige and a lot of our lovely friends. Mm -hmm. I laughed so much. I cured any ailment that was in my body, and I felt like I did. That's, That's how mm -hmm. much we were dying. Mm -hmm. The pictures that I saw were just like, you could feel it through the phone. It was so much fun. Like, and I met Paul Miller, which is Paige's husband, mm -hmm. which he's exactly Paul Miller. Mm -hmm. I was, I felt like I already knew him. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So anyways, you guys, needles up, go to our website for more info. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, um, the VIP hour is sold out, which means nothing in the no. big picture. I like mean, you're it's not great if you're anything. on a time crunch. Like that's my, that's my biggest thing. Like if you're really on a time crunch and you can only be there for one certain hour, VIP hour is great it's for that. Great. And it's, it's a wonderful hour. I always look forward to it, mm -hmm. but it doesn't, it, your shopping experience is no different. Mm -mm. And the last thing I want to say about it is because, you know, I want to be there to help people, you know, put together things if they need it. The thing is, it's a it's a very long time span. So if you have the time and you're like, oh, there's a million people, either come back or wait. I'm yeah. happy to help anyone and mm -hmm. everyone. Um, and just, it'll work. It'll work how mm -hmm. it's supposed to. It's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. So excited. I know. And now in my head, I'm like, how much would it cost for me to just, for I, just me to hop on a flight? I know. And have Justin stay home with Lily. I know. I would love it. it. That would be a big surprise if I did show up. I know. You never know. You never know. Never know. Okay. Should we break here to recharge? Yes. We will okay. be back. We'll be back. So much has happened since we've gone away. We're back. And I've we both. Jelly beans. And we both have yarn for new projects, even though I said I shouldn't be doing it. Went to the basement to fill an order, and it was game over. Mom showed me what was on available, limits, and here we are. So, let's start talking a little bit of knitting now. I know. We've both been struggling in that area. Let's yeah. be honest. Well, you want to know what, for me, it was I had, I cast on the soldat knot, and I knit it in a week. And it was such a fun, fast knit that, like, looking at all of my projects that I was working on, prior to that, I was like, that just doesn't seem like fun anymore. <laughs> they needed time. Mm -hmm. I just feel like I've been in a knitting slump. Mm -hmm. And I think again, kind of the same thing. Everything I've looked at, like I've been feeling like I shouldn't start a new project. Shouldn't, I hate that word. Oh, yeah. I, I really try to eliminate it. Um, but I didn't want to. I was almost done with the Urtania, which we should show that. Yes. 
Um, I just had to pick up a sleeve. Mm -hmm. I'm ridiculous when I put down a press. A sleeve that's this big. A sleeve that's this big and mm -hmm. takes two hours. Tiny. So I had put that down. I also am obsessed with stitching. You are at the moment. With stitching. It's, and I think it has to do with the intensity of the dyeing that had to get done. Mm -hmm. That just was taking up so much brain space. And when I do, or when we do a show, it feels like work. Yeah. Because oh, I'm yeah. on a... Oopsies. My phone is... Like, look, it just fell. I don't know how it isn't smashed into it, smithereens. It um, did chip yesterday when it smashed <laughs> onto the concrete. Last night in the middle of the night, it just fell on the floor. Because <laughs> it has this slippery case. You do have a slippery case for I think phone. I need to get a better case, but I love my case so much. You know what you need? Does yours have the rubber along the no. outside? Uh-huh. That's the key. Because mine's slippery on this side, but when I hold it, I'm holding onto sticky rubbery. But it's not falling out of my hand. It's literally, That's it was true. sitting over there and it just, <laughs> it just wants to be on the it ground. It wants to break. It wants yes. to break. It's like whatever. But anyways, um, I think when, when we're preparing for a show, dying is hard work. Yeah. It's hard work anytime, but you're not on this crunch. Right. Like it's, you get in the shop, but you get in the shop that day right. or that week. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to get back to that mentality. I know that's going to be so nice. I don't, which is this week. I'm uh -huh. back to, I'm just loading the shop. Yeah. And then when we come home from Needles Up, the shop is going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Super full. Cool. Cause you all know we bring enough for 5,000 people. Mm -hmm. That's my goal. Yeah. I can't help it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I feel like I just needed, I needed to be away from the yarn at night mm -hmm. to kind of regroup. But I did. I mean, this is almost done. It's ridiculous. It's pretty much done. It's pretty much done. It's super cute. Look at that. Satania by Boylan Knitworks. It's knit out of... First it? Kiss. First Kiss colorway. You're looking at the back. Beautiful little rolled collar. Love. I love that. Yep. And it's for me. Mom it's made it for me. It, well, I mean, it's a shop sample, but... It'll end up in my closet. I think. Yeah, it's going to Needles Up Maryland. Um, it was supposed to be done for you to wear on Easter. Well, I mean, it's just a number. Yeah, it's only okay, finish, and I can let you weave in the ends and block it. Absolutely, I okay. would love to do that. Okay, maybe, maybe. Producer just walked by. He's leaving. He's going for a drive. Is he going for a drive? I think so. It's good. He's going for a little. Yeah, he should go visit Jake at the um, gym. Oh, is he working today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So him. yeah, sleeves are tiny, you guys. Yeah. But there's, they're going to block. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. I love it. I love the sweater. I love the yarn. I did alternate skeins. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's okay. The Which, lace is, once the lace is blocked, it's going to be stunning. I mean, you guys have probably all seen this as a finished object somewhere along the lines, but... um. It's a beautiful summer knit. You are I going really to love hope, this. Oh, I really hope I have it for Easter now. Okay. You can do it. I can do it. And I Today. can do it. Today, yeah. I'll finish the sleeve. No pressure. No pressure. I can always wear it with one sleeve. I have no shame. <laughs> it's so pretty. What would you wear it with? I brought my um, conscious clothing, um, like olive green. Love. The only thing I wonder though is it has short sleeves. Will that look weird to have short sleeves under short sleeves? It might be hard to fit under there. Damn it. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll then. see. I might try it. Yeah. We'll might so it's done in our beautiful. Not fat squirrel sneaks. Yes. <laughs> um, awesome <clears throat> granny bag, which I am enjoying this so much. Mm -hmm. Graham said to me, is that another new bag? I was like, yes. Mm -hmm. Darlene and is so generous. Generous. Mm -hmm. I said, yes. One of our lovely people sent it to me. Mm -hmm. I think she doesn't think she's like, they sent it to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, confusing. so generous. So remember, we do have that coupon code. Yes, we do. It is Legacy. Oh, goodness. I'll put it on the screen, but I'm pretty sure it's Legacy 15. 15. I think. For yeah. 15% off. Yeah. Her bags are so affordable anyway. So to get an additional discount is like. She's so amazing. generous. And she's yeah. so generous <clears throat> with so many people. Yes. I love it. And her product is amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. I have so many bag makers I love, but they're all unique in their own way. Definitely. Like I we agree. have Sandy. Sandy's up there. Uh huh. And then we, of course, have Amy Beth, and then, oh my gosh, Matter Root. I know, so many good ones. But they're all very unique. Yeah. They're very unique, and they all have their own special, like, flair yeah. on, on how they do them. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I totally agree. So, my Tanya. I'm so excited about that knit. 
Did Should I just finish talk? Oh, did you already show your gorgeous? I showed it just it as a reference point, but let's talk about it a it's little beautiful. bit. It's so, I want to knit it so bad. You should. It's, it, you would finish it and. Okay, so I put this in my Instagram post. I knit this in a week. I knit this in less than a week though, because there were at least three days within that 10 day span, or I think it was, maybe it was only eight days, at least three days where I didn't even look at my knitting. So, under a week, easily under a week. Um, I am making a smaller size, so I know that that has something to do yeah. with it um, for sure. But it is just so, it's like an adventure knit. It's like you get to one section and you're like, oh my gosh, I get to mm. I get to look at the next section. And, and, the, and the sections are small. And I've small. seen, you really have to follow the hashtag because there are so many beautiful ones out there. Mm -hmm. So many beautiful ones. And so color, I used all Legacy Fiber Arts DK weight yarn one skein of each i believe it's the yardage calls for one skein of each up until like the gray the, area the large well no 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 i'm even oh, just you're right. sizes yes because yeah. there's only is there only two sizes no there's a handful but the yardage is the same similar like yes. you'll need the same amount of skeins no matter what and yes I, if you look at our um at our website we have kits up and it'll show you which sizes only require one skein mm -hmm. per colorway i want to say it's Probably the smalls to mediums. Mm -hmm. Maybe and then, even large, because you had a lot left over. I had a ton. Yeah. Which, again, I have... I My most recent post, which was probably about a week ago, maybe a week and a half, showed the finished object pictures, and then it also included like the yardage that I had left over, and I also have a Ravelry project page that I'll link in the show notes that are going to be down below in the drop bar. It's the only place we put them. They're so good. I try. But so, the colorways I used was believe which is this beautiful dark tonal it has so much depth to it it's really one of my favorite colors and i'm so sad that i could i couldn't use this one and bluebells more more yeah like i i wanted to have them although i think their placement is perfect perfect it's um, just the contrast and the yeah oh the and the fact remember i was i'm such a lazy knitter i'm like i don't know that i put three colors down here it seems like a lot of extra work it's it adds so much so much and it makes it fun like this this body part you'd think like ooh, when you look at all the rest of it it's like this looks so quick because you're shit you're changing colors you're changing stitch patterns and like this went by so fast the whole thing did i remember just singing like oh my yeah. gosh oh my gosh mm -hmm. graham honestly thinks you are like the best knitter in the whole wide world She's, she's like, she's allowed to think that. She is. I'll allow it. She's like, she is amazing. Like, how did she do that? She just started. I think she still thinks you just started knitting because it, it is new. I mean, you haven't been knitting your whole life. No, definitely not. And then a lot of your knitting has happened since you've left. Right. Where I'll show her pic. I think I make her more aware of your knitting now. Right, right, right. Because right, I show right. her pictures that what you make and she's just, she pretty much thinks you're a wizard, which of course she does. That's why we have grandmas. I know. So that we can think, so that 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 they can think we're wizards. They, she does. She's in awe of your talent. It makes me feel good. I know. It is very sweet. <laughs> um, so yes, I highly recommend the knit. Like mom said, she's going to be down at Needles Up Maryland. We are chock full of DK. Chock full. The combinations are endless. And like mom said, go follow the hashtag because if you're looking for inspiration, people have put together gorgeous, gorgeous and such a Is he listening to Cher? <laughs> Dad's phone just went off and it sounded like Cher was his ringtone. No, no, he's shaking his head a lot. Oh, he's not happy about not it. Happy. Um, so yes, the, the, the combinations are endless. They're endless. And I know for me, I had a hard time really like placing, and I remember one of your projects too, like which color landed where. where? Yeah, I, I, I had that same thing and it was very natural. It was one of, it was, I think it was the, the plumpy, plumpy shawl. shawl. Yeah, yeah. It was very natural. Mm -hmm. Once you started going, mm -hmm. it was just a natural flow of. Of course, that goes next. Right. And so, so yeah. in my pro uh, Ravelry project page, I tried to make it very apparent where each color landed within this knit. Um, but if you have any questions or want any recommendations or anything like that, you can always email us whether you mm -hmm. want to use our yarn or not. We are happy to facilitate. Yes. Your project. And that will come with me to Needles Up. Yes. I, this will be a, a sample so you guys can see it in person. This is one of those sweaters that I desperately want, but I, 
I just know I won't like how it looks on my body. Mm -hmm. It's just that kind of sweater. Mm -hmm. But I have envy over like, I want the body to wear that sweater. Mm. And now having said that, I think it's very versatile and a lot of all different size women have made it. Yes. For me, it's, I don't think I would like it on me personally. Which there's nothing wrong with that. I know, but I love the sweater. Well, so here, and I also do think, and I said this in my post as well, I think it comes down to styling it. Yes, I right. think if you were to have, so this is how I picture you wearing it. Like for a really nice, like a holiday or something, having a nice form fitting long sleeve t shirt underneath, underneath it. it, a high waisted long skirt with your clogs. I'm a stylist. With your Either clogs. that or I love the new high waisted jeans. Jeans. Not even jeans, mm -hmm. like the flowier. Yes. I love. I think you have a pair of those. Yeah. That I oh, like the love. um culottes, is that what they're called? They kind of look like culottes. I forget what I called them. Yeah, I think you got them for your Mother's Day picture last year. I did, and, and I, I actually have them with them. me today. Um, but yeah, it's all about styling. styling. It really I is. I just am not super styler. But I could help you. Like if you had it and you and you wanted it to wear to like, yeah, even not right. to like, throw on a long sleeve t-shirt. I definitely. It's the arms. For I know. Me, it's the arms yeah, for that sure. I feel like oh that wouldn't be super flattering on my arms. Um, other than that, I think it would be. And then I say, like, oh, would I make it long sleeve? Which you totally could. I mean, you're an experienced. Three quarters. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not. Like you were about to say, you're experienced. I'm not adventurous like that in knitting. And I don't know why I should be. I, th I don't know. I know. I'll, I'll, you could be if you want. I'll think about it because I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm just not a short sleeve sweater girl same with the totally. Talia. Totally. I don't think it'd be flattering for my arms mm -hmm. um so yeah we'll see it's, I love it we have so many wonderful colors though mm -hmm. again like oh my goodness even I'm thinking like it oh. to be this tuxedo this, tuxedo even just vanilla bean with tuxedo. it'd be more subtle a lot of people are making them wild and crazy and Which I love that same. oh we actually did a custom kit with wild and crazy oh I forgot what it was but it was gorgeous it was like pop fizzle Edward guac I can't, maybe a gray, maybe gray garden. It was yeah. gorgeous. It was yeah. absolutely gorgeous. And you can get, the thing is, I'm sorry, we're going to spend the whole podcast talking about this because it's so fantastic. Like, you don't, even with the wild and crazy, yeah. it can just be in certain areas. Mm -hmm. Like, I really think, like, a speckled, a beautiful pop speckled, mm -hmm. right in between the chevron uh, motif. Gorgeous. Like, the in-betweens would be gorgeous and have yes. something really dark running through it. Yeah. Like, I can see tiptoe with pop fizzle mm -hmm. guac mm -hmm. and then maybe wedding cake yeah Gorgeous. there are so many the point of the matter is there are so, so many, many combinations that you could be using and so. i love the affordable i mean it's still not inexpensive when you need four skeins but a crop sweater definitely will i mean regardless of the size it's going to save you money because it's cropped you're yeah. not making a full length and honestly, you could make two sweaters. You just need one more probably of the main color. Mm -hmm. You well, probably could. And you can switch all the colors around mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Like I could do Grey Gardens or the Belief. I could talk about this sweater Forever. all day long. I think Caitlin Forever. Hunter is such a fun designer. Like such a fun designer. Such a fun designer. She has one out there that I love and I think I'm going to make and I don't remember the name of it. The only thing is, and I know it's really in right now. Ooh, the balloon sleeves. The balloon oh, sleeves. I love the balloon sleeves. I know. Again, for me, I don't think I would love the mm -hmm. balloon sleeves, but somebody else is making it and they're going to unballoon them. What can you think of? What it, is it? A more recent pattern? Yeah, yeah. I feel and like I it's remember, the one where it's like feathers. It's almost like so. feather motifs all the way it's, around. And then it I has some motifs too. down here. I think. Yeah, I want to knit that one as well. Gorgeous. I like her designs because she gives you a template and she says, "Play." Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Like it's never like for some things. I always feel like. Um, the sample is what I want. Like I see it and I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, I need it in those colors. Yeah. That's what I want. When I look at her patterns, I never think I need it in those colors. Mm -hmm. I think, what can I do with that? I agree. Yeah, I agree. Anyway. Love it. That's my finished object. Okay, I have a finished, me. well, no, I, I have a half finished object. Okay. I love it so much. I know, coffee I'm talk. Hide my head so it doesn't focus on me. Coffee talk socks by Tracy Miller. I love her patterns. She is a fantastic pattern writer. She, she, I have not knit anything, but the way you talk about she them. She is. Yeah. Her her patterns are very organized. Um, I love these. 
I it, love these. They're so fun. So this is your unicorn hugs. Unicorn hugs. Sock kit, which... Did you fade in the Yeah, toe? you do. That's part of the pattern. Oh bro. my gosh, Tracy. You fade. Sorry, let's hold it. This <gasps> you fade the toe. I'm having trouble with this kit. It's tough to know because yeah. it's so far, but... I love them. I love them. I, I had so much fun knitting them. I do have a little bit of second sock syndrome going on. I just feel like that's my entire life. I, do like, oh, I think it's just my knitting mojo. Mm -hmm. I really do. I think I'm very unfocused. And I think that's why I think that's why I'm not really knitting. I'm so unfocused mm -hmm. right now. And for some reason stitching is focusing me. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what that's about. Well, it's your it's your like post work meditation. It's like, okay, I'm removing everything else and I'm making space for something. I think so. I new. think so. Mm -hmm. Because we're talking socks and yeah. Tracy, I'm just going to show this. Oh, look at that. I know. This is our Bluebell sock kit. I'm not sure if there's any in the shop. Again, sure after mm -hmm. Needles Up Maryland, we will do I will do a walk through of the shop on Instagram stories. Yeah, we'll be chock full. Yeah. You know what we should do when you do that? We should do the double like yes. live together. Yes, so we will. Out. We'll do that when we get back. This is her Galliano sock. I feel like it's not really showing up. We have it's to hide our faces. Okay. I think it's my white shirt. Oh, that could be. I. It, it, we just. We are constantly followed by the clocks. It's like a constant reminder of time is running out. The clock's not even right. It says nine o'clock. Oh, I wish it was. Oh, only so nine time is actually rewinding for us. Thank you. Yeah. That is usually in dad's office, but Lily sleeps in, in dad's office. Mm -hmm. It's her, her like part-time nursery. She loves it up there. Yeah, she really She's does. such a good baby. Mm -hmm. So I'm loving this so much, Tracy. <laughs> Again, she has a brand new pattern out that I've got to grab. I saw mm -hmm. it. I and know. Tr for anybody that is not familiar, Tracy is one half of the grocery girls who have a gorgeous and amazing and entertaining and informative podcast. She podcasts with her sister, Jody. Jody. And I'm sure I'm not educating anybody, anybody. because everybody already knows who they are yes. because they are so great. Yes. So I'm loving, 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 and I am going to cast the other one on too. So last night we were sitting around watching Game of Thrones for the second time. Won't even talk about that. We can't because spoilers. I, it's so funny because I act like I'm like all about Game of Thrones and I'm like the biggest fan ever. I never watch it. I do now. Last you do. season yeah. and this season I'm obsessed with. But yeah. before that, I literally, it was Sunday night. We'd go upstairs, dad would put it on, I'd fall asleep. Yeah. And then I'd wake up and go, who's that? What's that? Mm -hmm. You know what? I know who everyone is. I, I You were just waiting for the Moses. action to start. I was waiting for the dragons. Yeah. I was waiting for the dragons. Mm -hmm. So we were sitting around and Justin, Justin always inspires me to knit socks because he just sits there and knits his socks. And I thought, maybe that's what I need. I need a palette cleanser. I need to like get yeah. back in the flow without jumping into a huge project. Mm -hmm. So I go, I'm like, I'm going to get a pair of socks. Of course, mm -hmm. there's a million pairs of socks here. I am the most ridiculous person in the whole wide world. It needed a toe. I did not realize that as you pulled it out. <clears throat> I love these. Cozy Knitter. Cozy Knitter. Christina. Christina. All they so have to do is close pretty. the toe. And they're done. And it's so ironic because I was feeling the same things. I was like, I have a four hour drive ahead of me because we drove down yesterday. And I was like, I can't look at any of my projects. Even my no frills, which is pretty mindless. The mm. sleeve, the second sleeve wasn't even cast on yet. And I was like, I don't want to fiddle with that. And there's a whole nother story because I forgot how to even cast on a sleeve. <laughs> pick up. Pick up a sleeve. See, I can't, I can't even say it right. It was, it we was were a hot mess in the knitting world. We're, we're getting back. Our we're, mojo just like, whoop. Yeah. I think it's change of seasons. I think it's, it for me, it's the beautiful weather. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to be out playing. Mm -hmm. I said to you, I want to be gardening. No, I don't want to be gardening. I want someone I want to a make garden. a garden. <laughs> Uh, for me, but I do. I really want vegetables this year. I oh, hate me too. not having vegetables, mm -hmm. but we need. I'm gonna buy the raised beds. Mm -hmm. Like that. Like I know you can make them, but I know we're, we're kind of in the same boat. I want them, and Justin really wants to make them. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. It's just hammering together. It's not hard. Yeah. I know. I same year. We we married the same men. I feel like that's kind of a thing that happens. <laughs> 
But yeah, so I think that has to do with it. And I think once I settle into the season, uh -huh. I am not good with changes of seasons. Because mm. one day you have on your winter coat, the next day you have on a t-shirt and shorts. It's and the in-between seasons. It yeah. so messes with my head. Literally gives me headaches and mm -hmm. then messes with my... You wake up in the morning and you go, oh, it's really cold. Yeah. And then by 10 o'clock, you're melting. Mm -hmm. it's like, you go through two outfits a day easily. Easily. Mm -hmm. And then by night, it's cold again. Mm -hmm. We all know this. But anyways, I think that, like, this makes me excited about knitting. Yeah, I'm definitely... just leave this for the whole weekend. Just look at it every time we walk Who by. cares that we're having company? Yeah. 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 I do think this is going to help the knitting mojo, though. I do, too. Go ahead. But Sorry. So it was, no, it's okay. But it was so ironic because she pulled those out and I was like, oh my gosh, that's what I picked to knit on mindlessly. Because, again, cozy knitter, Christina, this is her gingerbread colorway. Or gingerbread house or gingerbread um and they were my christmas socks i think we both cast and you them have on. one done too yes <gasps> oh. I, but i just thought it was so funny it was like there's no way that's what you just picked out of thin air. So. i know and i want to make lily i really want to start making her holiday socks she'd love that i know we've got to try it. i've got to find a mini with the 30 whatever stitches 38 i think yeah to see what the circumference is yeah to see anyways so yeah we were both knitting on those last night although i gave up pretty much two minutes like, in i looked over i was like whoa she's already not knitting <laughs> i kept going i kept going i know i know it's hard i just can't do it it's hard and with lily here i know oh, oh she was gosh. asleep let's be honest oh yeah that was no right. excuse last night <laughs> for me i had no excuses I, I just didn't want to for me i hate to miss any second with her when I, yes here. yes which i really do it's so hard because i know this is like such precious time mm -hmm. yeah but she's a good napper well she's a semi good napper yeah. at this point yeah she's up there she sleeps when she needs to she knows when she needs to sleep. yeah she does She's perfect. Pretty much. We were all playing this morning. What else have you been her? Okay. Do I have any more knitting? No. I have one more. I mean, I'm just going to show my no frills. I have so much stitching, you guys. Yes, and then you can we take just over. call this a floss tube. We'll do break floss, floss tube. tube. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I love this so much. Me too. I want to make one. I highly recommend it. Although we'll talk about what we picked up in this basement when we went oh, down yeah. in between the breaks. We have to do that too. Yeah. So this is my no frill sweater by Petite Knit. I knit it out of Legacy Fiber Arts Cozy Toes yarn as well as our mohair. Yeah, our lace mohair. Yeah. The arms are really they're, long. Look at how long they are. <laughs> it looks like a Dr. Seuss sweater. But it looks good on you. It does look really good. good and but and I also good. think I I cropped the sweater a little bit more than they called for. So look at how absurdly long that sleeve <laughs> looks like. It looks like I like <laughs> very unusual but it's beautiful mom finally helped me pick up the stitches for the sleep for some reason i was having such a mental block last night mm -hmm. i've done that before literally i was staring mm -hmm. at it and i was like i know i need to pick up the the underarm stitches but i have no idea how to do it i've done that before like, like do i go from the inside do i go from the outside <laughs> do i pick it up with the right needle do i pick it up with the left needle mm, it's bad you know where i do that in spelling words you ever do that? No. What like do you, you spell a word like that. Yeah. And you you look at it and go, that looks so bad. Oh, de yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah, what it reminds yeah. me of. Like, how could I not know how to spell that word? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then you did it. And I was like, well, of course, that's how you do it. I what think was that's I thinking. Well, because you were probably overthinking. But even now, like, if you were, if it were to be empty again and I had to try and do You'd it, have to think I would literally need to hand it over to you again it's and okay. watch. It's okay. That's why I'm here. That's I've knit so here. many sweaters, you guys. What is So going many. I think. I don't know. I know for me, it's like my brain is being taken up by so many things right now. Maybe that's what's happening. Yeah. It's like when your brain is full, sometimes those... Yeah. It's okay. It's all good. Oh, oh, and one last thing I want to talk about. I got through both of my skeins of yarn that I wound <gasps> together. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's I talk about it a lot in my previous podcast. I tried to cake together my... MCN base and my co and my mohair base to try and make it easier so I didn't have to have two balls of yarn. Don't it's not it. easier. Don't do Don't it. Do you that. will regret it. But I made it work. I got through both skeins and now... I can't believe you did that because honestly I would have thrown them out. God. Which is really bad. I was determined and now I'm down to these oh guys. Oh my god. It is such a like... Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, no, what? Like subtle... It's cozy. I love the little brown in oh, there. Me too. 
and it's drapey. I, I want to make one. Mm -hmm. Again, Graham saw it. She was like, oh my god, I know. Like that fuzzy stuff. What yeah. is that? It's going to be so cozy. Like I even like knitting on it now when it gets cooler at night because I keep it on my lap and it's really like mm -hmm. warm. I have a cashmere mm -hmm. blanket on my lap. I love that. Yeah. I've also been very drawn to, and I haven't picked it up, and again, I think it's such a palette cleanser, mm -hmm. my cozy memories. Ooh. I think it has to do with you coming down to, like, I don't know why, like, Christmas time, I always want to work on it. Holidays. I don't know if it's a holiday <laughs> thing, or it truly is just a palette cleanser. Yeah. I don't know. But you feel like you're accomplishing something. When you well, work because on that. every little square mm -hmm. is a finished object in yeah. my mind. Yeah, mine too. I also want to talk about because we haven't talked about them oh, since we got in them. the other room. And I'm gonna there. post a picture. Um, Gigi, we ordered one of her pins. If you can't see it, I really will do footage of this. Mm. Um, but it says we knit two, and I love it. And the first time I went over to grab us some, she was selling out of them so fast. like crazy. Yeah. So fast. I saw her at the New Jersey one. I'm so jealous. So many people that you saw. I'm like, I said oh. that. Everyone I, I saw, I was like, Chelsea's going to be so sad. She's not here to meet you. Not to meet you. To, to be with you. Because yeah. we really were able to. It's really interesting because that New Jersey Woolwalk, that group of people mm -hmm. were my Periscope followers. Yeah, so I feel right. like I've known them since day one. Yep. We connected since day one. And that is such a tight group of women. It is so interesting over this little, what I call silly para periscope in right, the morning. Right. And it's such a bonded community. Mm -hmm. It's bizarre. You can feel it. It's you tangible. Can. Yeah. And it's Denise and Just Joan, Paige, Seashore Sharon. I'm probably forgetting someone. Darn it. That's why I hate listing <clears throat> names. Because everyone I met was so. Oh, um, I think Maureen was there. Somebody else came up to me and said they watched me on Periscope. That it's such a bonded group because we've mm -hmm. been together forever. So long. Yeah. It's so crazy. Yeah. So yeah, I forgot why. Oh, Gigi, Gigi was one yeah. of my yeah. first followers. I, I'm pretty sure she was a Periscope. I'm almost 99% sure. Yeah. But oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the conversation. <laughs> A I'm lovely so group of humans. I know every every single person. I was like, oh, and. On um, Elizabeth Zimmerman. Yes. Sorry, I know I'm forgetting someone. But anyways, it was amazing, that part. Okay, so during the break, because we had a break. Yes, we had a break because the battery died. We had to fill an order. We had to fill an order. And Chelsea, I was like, I'll go get it. She was like, no, I'll come with you. I was like, no, 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 I'm saying like, really, it's one skein. I'm okay with that. <laughs> but there's yarn down there. So then I was able to point out to her which yarns were available to her uh -huh. still. Um, because there's a back of a rack. We have so many racks down there. There's a lot of yarn. And I keep ordering more racks. I'm like, I just need two more. I'm just yeah. going to get two more well, racks. they're all full. It's not like they any of them are empty. Oh, they are all full. Yeah. Um, so what did you find when you went down there? So I don't even know how to pronounce the pattern that I want to knit. It's Boylan Knitworks. I think it's Maritemo or Mary, Marimoto. Mary... It's a t-shirt. It's a wavy bottom. I feel like if you're a Boylan Knitworks mm. fan, you'll it's know what I'm talking about. feather and fanish. Definitely a little reminiscent of the okay. Titania as far as styling. It's, yes, it's a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's a crop t-shirt though. I think it's more of a full length. Oh, and the Titania is more cropped probably. Well, maybe, I don't know. Not super, like it's not belly cropped. No, no, no. no, 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 no. It's like no. more like just waist. Do we know where Romo is? He's floating around. Okay. Um, so, but I want to cast that on because I've spoken about, I want to have more t-shirts in my wardrobe so that I can wear knits all year round. You're going to love it. I'm so excited. So I'm going to cast on, and I'm hoping that this helps my knitting mojo. It will. Edward Scissorhands and Grey Gardens. So Edward Scissorhands will be, ooh, actually, I don't know which one's going to play where. Would you do the body in gray or the body in Edward? I think I would do it in this. In Edward and in Hepburn. Because I love Edward edging. so much. Yeah. I, I mean, I think either would work perfectly. Well, we'll play around with that. But mm. yes, so I'm going to be knitting one of those out of these two. Is it one and one? I don't know. I need to look. I think it's going to be a little more because, well, the Tanya was two. But I, I didn't split skeins. I'm going to have to look at the yeah. orange. But anyway, so I'm going to be casting that on soon, and I'm hoping that it's going to revive my knitting mojo. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to do? Oh, well, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. So I have a ton of bluebells. I went crazy dyeing bluebells in DK. I'm obsessed with that color. I am too. And so Jody of the Grocery Girls was, was yeah, she was wearing it. The autumn 
League Pullover. It's a terrible picture. But what it is, it's it's very much a basic sweater, but it's got that sweatshirt V, and she talks about it, that sweatshirt V. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like that classic pullover. Pullover. I was thinking of Champion, the Champion Pullovers. Yes. Sweatshirt. And I'm gonna do it in bluebells. Oh, I'm sorry, it's my white shirt, I think, that's okay. doing it, but it's bluebells. Yeah. Um, DK weight, mm -hmm. and it is DK weight yarn, because if you go to the pattern, it says just Lion Brand Collection Cotton Jeans and Gray Fade. It doesn't mm -hmm. tell you the weight or anything, or but the yardage. we did the research, it is DK weight yes. yarn, so you can use any DK weight. Yes, and if you just Google it, it'll give you the yardage. I already forgot it. It's less than ours, mm -hmm. per significantly less than ours. Yeah, I think theirs was 219, ours was 240. Yeah, I think it was a low tooth, but mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I, uh, this might happen. Oh my gosh. I'm so, and it's bigger needles too. Bigger needles, size sixes and sevens. Yep. Um, it's, I just loved it when Jody had it on and I thought I need, I mean, I have been finishing up sweaters for myself. Mm -hmm. I have been doing pretty good with that. Mm -hmm. And I still have, I still have the, that I pulled out. Oh, um, Tecumseh. Tecumseh, yeah. Which I am going to finish. I think I'm going to bring that to my office, which is so clean right now. It looks great. There's no racks. There's no pots. Mm -hmm. It's all. Okay. It's filled with Easter egg hunting stuff. Which is exciting. So exciting. Yeah. So, yeah. So, pull that out. I think it's going to happen. It's... You know why? I'm going to need some good knitting for the Maryland Drive. Because that's a tough, And tough this looks drive. like it's going to be... It goes fast. Yep. It goes... It's around, top around. down. So I, I think that's going to be my goal is to have it to a point where it's just round and round. It's a very, I do not like the drive to Maryland, Sheep and Well, you said this, it's because you're going through cities. It's tough, tough. I'm so grateful. I'm not driving. Yeah. So grateful. I will drive at certain parts. Like I'm, it's not that I'm not capable, but it's stressful driving. Oh yeah. And dad has done that drive more than I have. So it's like, mm -hmm. if I had to, I could, but I don't want to. Yeah. And so you yeah. have knitting to do. And I have knitting to do. I have more important things to do than drive. So now, let's do a cut, cut, floss tube. tube. Can we talk about one more thing before I forget? Oh, yes, of course. This is a confusing pattern to purchase. Not confusing, but you can either pay for it or it's free with ads. Mm -hmm. It's. I just found the, we both found the free version just a bit annoying to deal with. Well, and I think, especially for me, like when I, when I start a pattern, I need all of the fine details. I need the layout to mm -hmm. get my mind to the place yeah. where I feel comfortable. And let's say it, we're used to Ravelry. We're used to just printing off a pattern. Mm -hmm. and so I paid three fifty. It's but worth it, it. It is available for free for anybody that mm -hmm. does not want to purchase it. All you have to do is you have to go onto the website that it links you to via Ravelry. Mm -hmm. um, and you will see a bunch of advertisements that says, um, free PDF download, click here. Do not click there. Those are all advertisements. And That's I, not the download for I the think pattern. I have by accident. Which is okay. Okay. I think it's okay, but but if you can avoid it, avoid it. Yeah, and plus you're more savvy to that kind of, you are really aware. I'm like, no, it says to click here to get the it's, PDF. It's so deceit. Well, I only yeah. know because I've made them stay yeah. before. I've yeah. lived and I've learned. So. Um, anywhere that has a big flashing button saying free print PDF, do not click it, scroll past it, and then when you get down to the bottom, you'll see all of the um, sweater pattern mm -hmm. yes. there. And what I did, or what I tried to do, was I copy and pasted it into a Word document Absolutely. and deleted all the pictures. So that's one way that you can do it. Or if you're working off your iPad, which I don't do. Yeah. It's easy. Just, just stay on the site. Yeah, just stay on the through. site, which a lot of people do that. I don't do that. Yeah. I just don't. Yeah. I like to cross off. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. So yeah, it's it's three fifty if you want to purchase it and have the nice format or free. Cut. Lost Lost to do. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's like, stop. Hammer time. It's so bad. So, I brought this with me to Paige's mm -hmm. because she's going to be framing it for me. She is going to be my framer, period. Well, yeah. Which we talked sense. about. Like, my favorite local frame shop mm -hmm. is in New Four Jersey and my favorite yarn shop is in Four hours away. <laughs> you know why local is a really loose term. loose term for me mm -hmm. LYS so of course Joanna yeah. so this is la di da oh my gosh you can tell me if it's in the it looks perfect 
Um, let me look. I'm not sure what it's called. Love Abides. Yep, Love Abides. Love Abides. I love this. It is a 36 count Edinburgh Heartland by Picture This Plus. I love Picture This Plus and that's fabric. The fabric. Okay. It's the fabric. I'm using one strand over two threads. Wow, this is tiny. It is. Wait till you see my upcoming project. Oh my gosh, no wonder you wear two pairs of glasses. Oh, I wear two pairs of glasses. Yeah, I have to. And good light. It's minuscule. That would be as if I was trying to stitch your I mean, Well, that's, I'm exaggerating. It is pretty small. It's small. It's pretty small. Um, I picked out the most gorgeous frame and oh my, oh my gosh, I didn't even talk about Natalie. Oh, Natalie. I saw I met Natalie in worst. person. I am the absolute worst friend in the whole wide world. I think I thought she was just part of it. Like, yeah. So Natalie Remembrance Pottery was mm -hmm. the, oh my God, I'm horrified that I forgot that. That's okay. Because she's the one that helped pick out the frame. Mm -hmm. um, it was so funny. I felt like it was, I was back at our frame shop. I was right behind the counter. It's like, can I just go behind the yeah. counter? I know what I'm doing. Yeah, there. I know what I'm doing. And I really, you know what? It's a, it's a flow mm -hmm. to pick out frames. Like yeah. I haven't done it in so long and yeah. Natalie just nailed it. It's a very simple flat wood in this beautiful gray of the house. Ooh, and where are you going to hide that? Or hide it? <laughs> <laughs> hide or hang it right on this wall hang them? going into oh, the family yes, room. Yes, that yes, right hand wall yes. so I see it every day, all day. Yes. So you're not going to hide it? I'm not going to hide it. I, there's no need to hide this. So it's Love Abide by Lottie Da. Lottie Da is one of my favorite I, I, I'm obsessed. Well, typing up the show notes, I felt like that came up a lot. la di da yeah. I love it. So my goal was to come home and finish it and give it back to her before I went to Maryland, Maryland Sheep and Wool. And no, I started two other things. No. Okay, so this piece is amazing. And this has... Ooh. It's, it's the irony of the bag mm -hmm. maker. Yeah. The, <gasps> oh, my gosh. The color. And then the sepia tones uh -huh. of this piece I haven't seen this in person, is yeah. breath. It takes your breath away. Look at that. So the face of Jesus. It's oh, stunning. It's it's breath. It takes your breath away. Uh huh. Because it doesn't even look like stitching. It no. looks like I am pretty sure oil that they piece. fed the image through a computer. They had to. Have. I feel like they had. To. It is. The most beautiful piece yeah. I have ever worked on. I love the. Um, I loved working on it during Lent. Yes. I started it later. I really um, copied Vanna Pfeiffer. Okay. Who is? Oh, I forgot her name. Darn it. On on. Um, is it a floss tube? It's a floss tube. Okay. Sorry, you all know she's a finisher. I it probably will just come at me when we finish. But I copied her. This was her morning meditation. I was just going to say, it can almost be, uh, it can almost act like a rosary in a certain way. It's, it's amazing. And it's a very difficult piece to work on because I will show you, I mean, I don't think you can get anything from this chart. First of all, the colors are so close. It's a kit. It was a kit. It did come with Ada. I know Vonna, the twisted stitcher. I know Vonna um, used the Ada. And it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and she's talked about it. And I, it was so stiff and uncomfortable in my hands that yeah. I just didn't like it. Mm -hmm. So I had a piece, I believe this is a 28 count cashew. And oh my gosh. So it's a very difficult because the colors are so close that when you're stitching, you can't remember. It which would drive one it me is. nuts, which is why it's so crazy that it's so meditative it's for you. It's so meditative because I've never, ever done this with a chart. Wow. Oh, so you're highlighting everything that everything you've already done. that I've done. So it's because for me, when I was designing wow. cross stitch, the charting is so important. Like you don't want to have two, um, like a circle and a square right next to each other. You want to have sharp similar, contrast, right. like a bold symbol, a light symbol. Yes. And they did a pretty good job with that, but it's just so difficult. So that's how I did it. It's really smart. It has brought me so much peace when I work on it. It is just I feel like beautiful. we should show them what it's yeah, going to look show like. Them. Here, you can do it. And I got it. You can do it. I got it at Hobby Lobby. It was a kit. Uh, it was not expensive. It's, it, it takes my breath away. There, that might 
focus on better. Look at on the back. Yeah, I know. I was just going to say that. Did you know I that they have other... I did not. Somebody said... Uh, they don't do it for me. This one, if any of them. I don't like the color. I yeah, like... all sepia tones. I just... I think it's breathtaking. It is. It's breathtaking. And I cannot wait to frame it. Mm -hmm. I think it'll go in our bedroom because we have beautiful... Like a bluey gray. Yeah. And with the brown, I, I just think it's beautiful. Yeah. It's and gorgeous. I I held off for a long time making it. I think, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I would hang it. I don't know that I would like it. And then watching Vana stitch it. So, and I love, I love that it's in this bag. Yeah. Again, these are Joanna's Which of course, bags. Joanna. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the battery's flashing. <gasps> okay. Can it be really quick? Okay. Last thing. Will it work? Do you think? I started, I think so. and I did want to talk about, a lot of people talk about stitching in hand, mm -hmm. and I, because then you can use the sewing method, well, I stitch in hoop, but you just keep it loose I enough. keep it loose, and I, I stitch so fast right now. Yeah, you because do. Because you can still do the sewing method, but you've got, it's a little easier to grab onto. Mm -hmm. I started this this week. And look at how I'm also doing, doing the in. stitch a hundred days thing. So I stitch every day for a hundred days. Oh, My goal cool. is to stitch. So I got a stitch today. Yeah. Even if it's just a tiny bit. Yeah. So these are the stacks. And they're by. I will put it in the um, Plum Street sampler. Yeah. So there's seven of them. I'm just going long and narrow. Again, this will go off to page. Poor page. We're gonna FaceTime and, and frame. Four, so yeah. this is the hen pack, the first one. Snort stack. And I haven't figured out the order. I'm trying to play with the order. She peep. I love these so much. They're adorable. Cow pile. Llama lump. Oh my god. <laughs> and if I can't fit them all on, I'll do a couple like to the side. Like tiny samples. Yeah. Goat load. Fox view. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. So I am using, I got this straight from market. I was so lucky. I went into my needle workshop. Heartland by Picture This Plus, 28 count. 28 count is like so huge for me right now because I'm doing all small. Love it. I'm in love with it. Last but not least, it is not started, Ooh. but... It is my Easter start. I was supposed to finish the face of Jesus during Lent, but you know what? It's it's not meant to be rushed. No. Or I, I really feel like I'd like it to be kind of almost like either morning prayer or night prayer. Yeah. For me, is kind of what it feels yeah, like. Yeah, definitely. So then, again, straight from market. This is one of the most popular pieces, a Savior's praise. I hope I have a full. And I bought this. Oh, I might not have a. I can always show oh, right here. Oh, there it is. Okay. A Savior's Praise by Teresa. The blah, 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 Teresa Vinette of Shakespeare's Peddler, also known as the Kitten Stitcher. Okay. She kitted it up for me. I'm so lazy. Oh, I don't. I don't now she lazy. was anchor for some reason. There's a real shortage, or I don't know, but there's a few colors missing that she had mentioned. So it's anchor in Weeks Dye Work, forty. Count. Back for a third time, and I'm third wearing time. Mom's Comfort Fade Cardi. Ella's veneers. Mine is still in timeout. Sorry. Anyways. So okay. Go ahead. So we're back to talk about my last stitching project, which is not started. It has taken everything in me not to start it. Mm -hmm. There's something about I'm allowing myself to start a lot of stitching projects. You because you're in a lot of different moods mm -hmm. when you want to stitch. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes I'm in a fine mood detail and sometimes I'm a filling in mood. Mm -hmm. This is my last one that I'm dying to stitch. So I'll start from the beginning because I'm not sure cutting back. Yeah. Um, it's a Savior's Praise. It, I think it was one of the hits at the market this year by Teresa Vanette of the Shakespeare's Peddler, also known as the Kitten Stitcher. It is fabulous. Our producer's back. Um, I am doing it on a 40 count fabric, one strand of floss. Holy cow. Uh -huh. So I don't even know. Oh, winter, 40 count winter brew. I got it from Teresa. It's a gigantic piece. So she, I think you said this previously. She kit this up for she you. She kit it up for me. <clears throat> yes, I had said, could you kit it for me? I'm super lazy. 
Um, so it's Winter's Brew. It's beautiful. I cannot wait to start it. I've never done mm -hmm. 40 count. I really am pushing myself on this one because that's a very, so that equals 20 when you work over two. Um, you might need a third pair of glasses. I might need it. Well, I have, I have clip-ons, I have extra, I could wear three if oh, I needed it. I think my head would be raging. Yes. I think. I cannot wait to start this. I think it's going to be my Easter start. I feel like when everyone leaves, because Easter is exhausting, it's a we long do, day. yeah, we do a very detailed meal. meal. It's like a seven course meal. It is. One, four, five, five with dessert. And, and the eggs, did you include the eggs? I did include, mm -hmm. so it's, you start with Blintzes. fruit cup. Oh, fruit cup, yeah. <clears throat> then you go to Blintzes. Mm -hmm. Then you crack the eggs, which mm -hmm. I haven't dyed yet, which mm -hmm. I dye with onion skins. Maybe mm -hmm. Romo went with the producer. Oh, he might have actually. Yes. So then we do the egg egg smashing contest, mm -hmm. which dad's got to go get the prize. Here's mm -hmm. Romy. Hello. And then we do the main course, which mm -hmm. is usually ham, fresh kielbasa, grilled asparagus, and potatoes, the hash brown potatoes, mm -hmm. which I had to look all over high and low for those. Mm -hmm. And then we go to dessert, which is lemon cookies, chocolate chip mm -hmm. cookies, and raspberry bars. We are very traditional with the Easter meal. Mm -hmm. And the appetizers are all very structured oh, as well. The appetizers are. Oh, I forgot about the appetizers. Smoked herring? I didn't get that. You didn't get the smoked I herring? I didn't. I refused. Sorry. All right, all right, um, I, Dad will probably run and get it tomorrow. <laughs> Shrimp. Jelly beans. Pasta, jelly beans, jelly bellies. We always have a big bowl of jelly bellies. Jelly bellies and cheese and crackers. Shrimp, and did you already say? Shrimp. 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 Got to remember to take that out. Mm -hmm. So it's very traditional around Dave's Aunt Teresa, who we lost mm -hmm. in the last three weeks. Mm -hmm. She was very old and mm -hmm. had a beautiful life. The best, like a great life. Yeah. A great life. But her, we've carried on her East tradi tradition since she hasn't been able to anymore. Mm -hmm. It's big. Mm -hmm. It's big. You, and it's fun. Like even Justin looks forward to Easter. With it's us, so it's special. And it's the meal. It's yeah. the meal. I know. I feel like Kristen, her not coming. I know. It would have been so fun to have her here. I know. She we'll was here her. last year. So she's experienced Easter with us. I think so. I think she was. Yeah. So it's a very special traditional meal. My long-winded point is I'm exhausted yeah. at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Exhausted. And I'm so looking forward to curling up in my chair mm -hmm. and starting this. It's going to be so great. I hope I do it. I think I'm going to do you it. You will. So yeah. So that is... The last of my floss tube update. Floss and tube. Cut, cut. <laughs> I feel like we have to do that on yeah. the Now, floss tube. Yeah. So, um, I just have such a love for cross stitch. I really do. And I know a lot of you get it. Mm -hmm. I know you do. So, I didn't have any more of Joanna's bags. But this one will get one of her bags as soon as I finish one. Mm -hmm. So you can Actually, try Actually, I may have one over there that isn't in use. Um, but I grabbed these on Amazon. Somebody talked about them. They really work. I thought, no, I'm only going to have enough projects for Joanna's bags. But I have a lot of stockings in there that were just in plastic. So I just bought these. They were super inexpensive. They're good go-betweens. They get the job done. They get the job done. They're not done. as beautiful as Joanna's. But... No, I just am so proud of myself that I actually have them all organized. I'm proud of you too. That is a huge step. It's a huge step for me and it really is a game changer with cross stitch. Mm -hmm. It really mm -hmm. is. Well, because we have been battling the battery this entire time, we are going to cut our goodbye a little bit short, short. Um, so that we don't have to wait another 20 minutes to charge the battery. And we've got to get ready. We have Good Friday guests yes, coming. We do. We're having pizza and salad, Easter egg hunt, mm -hmm. yummy desserts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, with our Christmas socks. With our Christmas socks. We are all holidays today. I know. Happy, happy Easter to those of you who celebrate. Yes. Happy Easter. Is Passover right around this time? Yes. Thank you for saying that. I do. I don't. I should know this and I don't. But I, I yeah, happy Passover. When yes. it, it, it's, they I, usually coincide. Yeah. Pretty close. So, so if it's already happened, we're sorry. We hope you had a great Passover. If it hasn't, happy Passover. Enjoy celebrating. Um, and yes. Keep knitting. We're going to hopefully get our knitting yeah. mojo back. We, I honestly think that it's needles up that was taking up so much space in my yeah. brain that I needed to just break away from it because yeah. 
I'm gonna finish this today and Chelsea's sweater and I'm gonna stitch. And she's gonna spin me a sweater to work And her. I'm gonna spin. And we have company coming and I'm gonna play with Lily. We're gonna do all the things. Um, so yes, if you enjoyed this podcast and you would like to be notified when we upload our next episode, go down, subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications. Um, and if you really liked it, give us a thumbs up. It'll help us gain exposure on YouTube to other crafters that are looking for entertainment while they make. Um, and thank you for being patient and waiting for yes. us and coming back and joining us if you were able to. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And like we always say, needles up. Needles up. Bye guys. Bye.